Hi everyone, my name is Corey Lacino. I'm a developer advocate on the Ads Developer Relations team. Our goal today is to take a look at how to build and validate queries against the Google Ads API using the Google Ads query language, Gackle. There is some validation that needs to be done around segments, and this is due to the way that segments work. When you add a segment to your query, it's going to automatically group by that segment. Any metrics that exist within the query are going to be bucketed by that segment, an example being campaign.name, segment.device, metrics.clicks. Instead of just seeing the campaign and clicks associated with it, you're going to see the campaign, all devices associated with that campaign, and then the clicks for those devices for that campaign. It's gonna break that out and bucket it by that segment. Due to the way that this works, there are some segments that don't play nicely with others, and there are some metrics that don't play nicely with some segments. So we need to understand, now that we know what fields can exist within the query in general, if we were to select any of those fields or filter on any of those fields, which one of those fields would cause the other fields to potentially not show up and which of those fields would be able to be selected with them. To do that, we're going to look at the selectable with metadata array on a given segments field object from the Google Ads field service. So let's take a look at segments.device. And in this case, we are hitting the Google Ads field service and saying, get me the segments.device field object and return me the selectable with array. So the selectable with array is going to contain all metrics, segments, and resources that are able to be selected with this segment. Now I say resources, it functions the same way that an attribute resources array would function. If a resource is listed here, you would just look up all attributes for that resource and then those can be selected with this segment as well. Anywhere you see a metric or another segment, those metrics or segments can also be selected alongside the current segment that we're looking at, segments.device. And I keep saying selected, I think it's important to note that it's not just selectability, it's existing within the query together. So segments.device can be selected or filtered or sorted at the same time that metrics.clicks, for example, at the bottom of my screen can be selected, filtered, or sorted. So if there are any metrics, segments, or resources that don't exist in this list, if you were to add segments.device to your query, they would not be allowed in. It's difficult to see in this view, and we actually have a much better view into this, a way that we can programmatically go about understanding what fields are able to play nicely with certain segments. And we're actually gonna to go to our developer pages now to take a look at that through the interactive query builder. So the first thing you'll notice here is that we are in the developer pages of the Google Ads API, and we are looking at the reporting section where you would normally find our reporting reference docs. The Google Ads Query Builder exists here on the left-hand nav under a Query Builder subsection, and you'll be able to find all of our resources here listed where you can click one, like I've chosen campaign, and you'll be able to pull up the Query Builder for that resource and be able to uh, interactively walk through and, and build it out. In case you haven't seen this before, uh, I'm going to walk through the UI a little bit. The Gapo query at the very beginning, before you do anything, is just going to have a blank select. Select blank from campaign. Campaign being hard-coded because that's the uh, query builder for the resource we're looking at. Below that, you'll see everything that we saw in the Google Ads field service results. You'll see the attributes for the resource selected and in this case, it would be campaign. You'll see the segments that can exist within a query where campaign is the from resource. You'll see metrics that can exist in the query where campaign is the from resource. You'll also see all of the attribute resources that can be uh, selected or, or filtered where campaign is in the from resource and drilling into those, you can see their individual attributes that are able to be within the same query. So let's just go ahead and select one here. Let's select uh, metrics.clicks and let's add that to our query. So I've added metrics.clicks. You'll see it in the select up above uh, in the Gapple query section. Like I had just mentioned about the selectable with array, this may have impacted what we can select in terms of segments to exist alongside metrics.clicks within the same query. So if I were to open up the segments tab, I should see whether or not we're able to add individual segments and whether or not they play nicely with metrics.clicks. 
It looks like there are a couple that don't. In this scenario, segments.conversion action or any of these segments cannot be used alongside metrics.clicks. To get around that, we would have to remove metrics.clicks to be able to add that segment back in. Additionally, if I were to add a segment that can work alongside metrics.clicks, such as add destination type, that may impact what other segments I can add alongside that field. And you'll notice by adding that segments.click type now shows that it is incompatible with segments.add destination type. I can now no longer add that segment. In addition, you'll notice that some of the segments that we saw before that just had a value of one error, now when I add segments.add destination type, they have two errors. The second error being that not only is it not compatible with metrics.clicks, it's also not compatible with segments.add destination type. This will allow you to interactively build out or discover what is or isn't selectable together as you're looking at what type of queries you want to put together. Okay.